You know what? Anita is probably in her element today doing a little shopping. Oh, girl. boy. You know, Anita, I started buying antiques back east where they were much easier to get a hold of because back there people just thought it was just old stuff. <laughs> And you know, you don't have to go all the way back east to buy, I know. buy stuff. I mean, I was saying, this is kind of like a, 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 a ginormous estate sale. You have to spend all morning just looking from booth to booth to booth. 51 years for the Del Mar Antique Show and Sale. And Michael Grimes is here with me. You've been doing this for a little while. Oh, yeah, since I was like nine and a half years old. My parents started this back in 1960. So I was saying that was just a few years ago. How I, a few years fly. Oh, yeah, but you know, I'm, I, 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 I want to say that I, you know, when, it, when I die, they're going to cut me in half and count the rings to see how old I am. You know? <laughs> but it must be great fun. We were talking about there is so much here. There, for, what do you say from Tin I, to Tiffany? Everything from Tin to Tiffany. We've got paper, we've got glass, we've got porcelain, we've got jewelry, we've got furniture, we've got a little bit of everything. And then we also have our restoration people that can repair jewelry, repair glass, repair porcelain. Uh, we have the appraisal booth, $5 per item, uh, you know. You can bring it in, see what your hidden treasure is worth. Yeah, oh, that yeah. sounds awesome. Now, right now, the, um, it doesn't actually open until tomorrow. So a lot of people right. are in here setting up. They're just bringing in some of their special items and stuff. We are saying, you know, you can walk down the aisle. You can see knives. You can see pictures. You can see stuff from your childhood you'd completely forgotten about. And, oh. and it could be here, and you could buy it and take it home. Definitely. And you know what? You're the first TV station to ever come out on setup day. Oh, We've always done shoots on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. You're the first one. See, we're special, and that also means that we get the best stuff because we get first dibs on everything oh, that's here. So we're sending it. we're sending some free passes back with you to the station for the for everybody. So we can spend some money when we come down. Oh yeah, bring your checkbook and wear comfortable shoes. And comfortable shoes, you said, because you're just going to want to go from booth to booth and take your time and look at things and talk to the people who are selling the items. Oh yeah, definitely. This is how you get the 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 buzz going. I mean, you you start to collect little things and then it just moves on up. And I mean, look. You're going to be talking to Christian. I mean, he started as a little kid, and now he owns a trolley car, for God's sake. I know. Gosh, how big can he get? <laughs> yeah. All right, speaking of Christian, let's head over and talk to him a little bit about your little bitty hobby you've got going on behind you. Good morning, Christian. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Uh, a street car. You kind of got tired of the little knickknacks, and you went big? Is that well, what happened? I don't have limits on what I'll buy. <laughs> but I would like to say this, that these street cars are unique to San Diego. They were custom made for our city by John D. Spreckles, and they served, they were custom made to take people to and from Balboa Park for the Panama California Exposition. So they were made as works of art, but more importantly, they were made with all the modern safety features, and they were made to carry huge crowds of people and have them load quickly and disembark quickly. And what's really nice is they also have a configuration which will allow for ADA equipment so that they can carry up to four wheelchairs at any time. That's so cool. You were telling me, uh, not only, I love the fact that this is San Diego, um, you were telling me how he built it so that if it were a cold, chilly morning, oh, you could sit yes. in the closed compartment side, or if you wanted to get some fresh breeze of air, right, or you right. wanted That's to interact. That's what made him unique. You know, John D. Spreckles did a study back in 1910 and found that people would rather walk than to ride in an enclosed streetcar. So he went to his engineers at the San Diego Electric Railway and said, design us a special streetcar just for San Diego. So what they came up with, as you can see, is we've got one end that is completely enclosed. So if it was a cold, drizzly, rainy day, you're warm. But if it's one of the normal hot days, not hot, but if it's a normal, beautiful day, you want to be outdoors, breathe the fresh air, and do your window shopping as you sit with these huge windows here. And if you take a look closely, too, there's a lot of gold leaf decoration inside and out. He wanted these beautiful because these were taking people to a citywide party that would last for an entire year. And these street cars went on to serve San Diego until 1939 when they were retired for the option of the uh, economy, uh, cheaper, low cost PCC vehicles, which were used all over the entire United States. But these cars are unique to our city. These are the streetcars where our ancestors and our famous politicians and artists and they everybody in San in Diego <laughs> rode in these streetcars. Are you going to be able to part with it? For a higher purpose? <laughs> yes. For, for our city? A higher purpose. It is. These things belong serving our public. Yeah. And these can do for San Diego what the cable cars did for San Francisco. It these will meet the national Beautiful. historic criteria once they're running on any part of the original line.
Well, thank you so much, Christian, and good luck. I'm sure you're going to find plenty of people interested. And uh, just to remind you, tomorrow is the first day, runs through the weekend. Uh, you can come on down, like I said, bring a little pocket change, see what you can find. You never know what treasures there are. And, you know, um, I was talking uh, about some of the appraisers here, if they've ever seen some super valuable stuff. Oh, the stories are amazing. There was one guy who brought in an ugly statue, Renee and Mark, and yeah. I guess it was like lumpy and it had like stones in it and he didn't know what it was and the appraiser almost died. It was, it was gem encrusted. It was all gems. Everything was real in the statue. So it he was took it under his arm and ran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cha-ching, baby. Thank you, Anita. All right, thanks, Have Renee. fun. I'll let you get back to your shopping. Okay, thanks.